All right, guys, we are back with some more Monster Energy Supercross 4. Today, we have A3 2022. This track, you know, we had A2, which that track was pretty sweet. And then we had uh, Glendale, and that track came out awesome. This track, it came out well, but it has a weird part on the track. And I wasn't really able to replicate that in the game because the, the whole shot, the true first turn is actually right so where you see it connects back to the start straight that should be a big 180 with a smaller 180 inside of it so it isn't perfect and that's a really weird spot on the track but we tried our best and everything else is pretty much the way it should be so let's check it out 2022 a3 2022-83 this track uh, coming off the start straight, this is a race. I want to do the video similar to what we did with Glendale. And the first part of the, the, the video here is first person because the tracks, everything it just looks really, really good in first person. So uh, that's what we do here. And then switch over to third person towards the end of the video. So if you hate the, uh, first person, just skip ahead and you can see some uh, third person. But the track... I'm happy with the end result. I feel like it plays well in the game. You know, I made the track similar to A2 in Glendale where there is some quads on the track, some lines that they probably will not do in real life. Now, it was cool in or at Glendale where uh, some of the guys were doing quad quad off the start straight, and it wasn't the same as what we had in the game, but uh, it was just cool that they did have some quads on the track. Uh, that first jump at Glendale was a kind of a roller off the start straight, so they kind of rolled that and then quadded over the first table and then quadded into the corner. So that was pretty cool. Uh, the rest of the track, the you know the third rhythm lane going into the sand wasn't the same as what we had. They were doubling and tripling through it, but we had <laughs> we had some quads there. But uh, I try to make the tracks fun in the game, right? So. That's what we were going for here. So we have like a triple quad, or was it a quad quad double in that first rhythm section after the whoops. And then we cut across the track here, hit the double, and then we go triple double, or you could go double triple. It really doesn't matter. I feel like the triple in is probably faster. Hit the double, super cross triple, and then the rhythm section after the super cross triple is triple quad. And no, they probably won't do that in real life, but it's fun in the game, okay? I'm gonna stick with that theme when I make these replicas, and it will be validated. I've seen some people saying, validate your tracks. I do, man. It's on PC. If you're on console, you can't play them. I haven't made them on console. I don't even have the... Not even sure I have the game on console. I haven't turned on my PlayStation or my Xbox. I have two Xboxes, but uh, my Xbox One X in months. So, uh, yeah, only on PC. But the track came out really good, and I'm happy with it. It isn't, it isn't as good as the last two tracks we did, but overall came out pretty, pretty sweet. Yeah, and then we quad. So that this first rhythm section is quad, quad, quad. Yeah, probably not doing that in or IRL, but it's fun in the game. This track was way more challenging than I thought it was going to be. I It might have been more difficult to play for me than the first two tracks we did, or the last two tracks we did. So, yeah, pretty fun. Switching over to uh, third person pretty soon here, maybe another lap or so. But, yeah, we get into some traffic here and can't really hit the, the lines we want to, but... Uh, it's just the way it is. I, I try to keep it kind of realistic where we don't just crash into the AI, but sometimes you do that. You, the AI can be unpredictable, and they really suck on custom tracks. So, yeah, but I do want to kind of talk about the race. Tomac and Lawrence won the main events, and there wasn't too much drama. Stewart got second, which was awesome. It was really cool to see him put that Husky up on the box, but... Uh, the, the main drama of the night was with Vince Freezy and Christian Craig. Now, Craig should have probably won, but he didn't. Um, but should have probably. He won two of the main events and got fourth in the second one. 
But the reason he got fourth in the second one is because Freezy put the freeze all over Craig. Um, they were both going into the sand section, and Craig, it was off the, the start, Craig went to the outside and was in front of Freezy, but Freezy just like decided to jump into the outside line as well and then just KO'd, punted Craig off the track. Craig went flying and then he got tied up in a string or whatever and, and had to get rid of that and he rode back to fourth place which was crazy, great ride by him. But Freezy was behind him when that happened. I don't know what he was doing. I, I feel like everybody that was watching, you know, Freezy has that reputation. But I feel like everybody that saw it was thinking, okay, Freezy is probably just going to go to the inside. Well, I know he has a reputation for it, but I still thought he would. He was behind him. I mean, it was just like, I don't know. It's like, it's like Freezy has this reputation for for riding that way so he wants to live up to it right i mean i wanted to see freezy do well the weekend before where was it the weekend before where shimoda his front tire hit him in the head you know i wanted to see freezy do well i thought it'd be cool but i'm not happy about that you know i like craig i know some people i mean there's always people on both sides but i know some people are like it wasn't dirty craig shouldn't be in the 250 class neither should freezy whatever I feel like that's probably just the people that really don't like Craig. And that's fine if you don't and you feel that way. But if you watch it, it just, it didn't feel right. If Freezy was neck and neck with him into that corner, maybe. But he was behind. Craig went just, I don't know. It just was wild and it didn't feel right. And it just didn't sit right with me. And I'm not saying I don't like Freezy. But it just, that just felt not right. You know, Craig is faster, and I know he wants to do well too, but try to hold him behind you and ride a wide bike, like they always say, and make it hard to pass, but just going for a KO because you think that's the best way you can beat him. I mean, I would rethink my options, you know. Uh, it just, Craig would have got by you. I mean, it was inevitable. He is faster, but just like no respect whatsoever, right? Weird. Really, really weird, and... Um, even for Freezy, it just didn't sit right with me, you know, even knowing what he does and how he can be. But it was really unfortunate. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments down below. Excuse me. I feel like, and I don't feel like, Freezy, that was not the right move. That was just a dangerous, it could have taken Craig out and ruined his championship, but... I don't know. Let me know how you guys think. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.